While, while the recession would have kicked in 2008 thereabouts, it's really in the last 12 months that we have seen um, the impact of the recession on homelessness. This is kind of considered to be, you know, a lag effect that, that, that people will do everything they possibly can to keep the roof over their head. And it's, you know, it's the absolute last straw when you, when you lose that roof over your head and you find yourself in the street, you know. So the results here, it's really captured the hearts and minds of people um, in Cork, you know. And, um, and really anything, anything that draws attention to the plight of people less fortunate um, and to people who are homeless is a good thing, you know. Um, unfortunately, they can be easily forgotten, so anything, anything that, that helps to draw attention to it. And, and I, think, I think part of the beauty of the suspended coffee scheme is its simplicity. You know, people can grasp straight away what it is and it's a reasonably easy and straightforward way to help and to show empathy you know, with people who are less fortunate. Someone just posted up about it and said, talking about it, that he'd seen it initially and it seemed like a great idea. Well, it's huge initially, and this idea of just buying a coffee for someone else and leaving the money in a cafe, and then when someone else wants one, they can come and collect it. They just thought it seemed so sort of simple and obvious and easy. We said, yeah, absolutely, we'll, we'll jump on board. And I kind of thought there was going to be an avalanche that everyone was going to touch. It's kind of slowly building, but it's, it's great. We've got nice, regular number of people now coming in collecting them. We introduced um, suspended coffees in this year, about maybe March or April. It was slow enough to take off, but uh, we, got, we got in contact with um, Pain Dinners in Cork Island Community and they, they put out, the, they helped get the word out of what we were doing and we, since then we've had steady enough flow of uh, customers coming in to take advantage of it. There's no shortage of people buying the buying the suspended coffees for the people who need them. Um, but at the beginning there was a shortage of people coming in and we approached a few people out in the street. There's a guy, he'd be out outside the GPO there most days, Vito is his name. Um, he comes in here most days for a tea. Um, we, we'd give him a sandwich as well, uh, or, or scone or whatever, or whatever else, whatever he wanted. So there was a lot of scones there. He came in late in the evening, we'd, we'd give him a few scones, give him a sandwich to take away. Um, all our suspended coffee customers are more than willing to sit down and have their coffee here or, or take it away, whichever they prefer. Vito prefers to take it away, but then there's a few more. Another lady comes in, she comes in every morning for a cappuccino, she sits down for half an hour and um, just chills out. It's, it's nice because once people come in once, they keep coming back. I think it's just psychologically, when you see a sign saying suspended coffee, first of all you have to find out what it is. And then no one really wants to walk in and ask for a free cup of coffee. So we have a huge sign written up outside saying suspended coffee is available now. So people come in, but once they come in once, then they just come back and it's it's just they're the same as all the other customers coming in. We have to say, oh, hi, or you latte, two sugars, and they say, no. yep. And instead of putting money on the tail, we just cross the name off a book, cross, reduce the number of suspended coffees we have. And it's working really well. And, and I think as well as getting a cup of coffee, people are getting social contact. So if you're walking around, there's one guy, you know, he's been looking for a job for about eight weeks and he said it's just to be able to come in after another interview and come in, get a cup of coffee, have a chat about the day and head off with a cup of coffee and know that life goes on and it's, it's all normal as well. So it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's working really well. It's, it seems like a great initiative, you know, it's, it's really, uh, we can see from the, from the results here, it's really captured the hearts and minds of people um, in Cork, you know. And, um, and really anything, anything that draws attention to the plight of people less fortunate um, and to people who are homeless is a good thing, you know. Um, unfortunately they can be easily forgotten so anything, anything that, that helps to draw attention to it and, and I, think, I think part of the beauty of the suspended coffee scheme is its simplicity. You know, people can grasp straight away what it is and it's a reasonably easy and straightforward way to help and to show empathy you know, with people who are less fortunate. One of the big things about homelessness is um, the isolation. And it's it's something that the Cork Simon would be very uh, mindful of. And we have we have a, a, a great a great support base um, in terms of volunteers and um, and what a lot of volunteers do is they just spend they just spend a bit of time with residents and it's that normal engagement that's so vital, you know, it gives people a sense of normality, it reduces that isolation, you know, it helps to build back up self-confidence, which, um, which can be on the floor after 
experiences like homelessness um, and you know definitely definitely like a you know a scheme like like uh, suspended coffee where where people can feel a part of, communi of a community again is is very good initially it was two euros for a suspended coffee to your coffee so what we do is somebody comes in and they, they buy a suspended coffee and they down the book and we mark it off that there's a suspended coffee there somebody else comes in if they claim it then we just scratch it off it's gone um, but was, there were, were we had people buying the coffees and there wasn't that many people coming and claiming them at the start so it was it was kind of it was, I could see it turn into getting bad publicity because of becoming a money making scheme for cafes and we were getting good publicity and then getting money on top of it for people who weren't claiming the coffees in the, in the, at the end of it all so we reduced the price to one euro and um, then we doubled whatever coffees we had for, that was sold for two euros and so that kind of the margins were kind of taken over at that stage then it was just kind of we were just letting them go at cost um, and then and eventually people started coming in and started claiming them so we um, We'd still, we'd still carry about maybe probably about 40 or 50 teas of coffees in the book at the moment that haven't been claimed over, just accumulated over the few months. But generally there'd be, be steady flow of people coming in, so it's handy to have those 40 or 50. I mean, we could donate the extra money to Cock Penny Dinners or Simon Community, and if it does get out of hand, we will. But um, if it, the winter's coming, at the moment, coming now, so maybe hopefully to get a bit busier and we get more people coming in rather than just giving the, giving the money away. We're getting far more people buying them than collecting them, which is obviously fantastic because I think it's going to go the other way. When the publicity drops a little bit, there will be less people buying and far more, hopefully more people collecting. So it would be nice at the balance. But we've been able to twice get out to Simon for 800 euro in cash and say, here's our surplus for coffee, would you use that? And then it's just now I say that because there's no point in us having a book with 1,000 suspended coffee sitting here. But it is nice to building. It's new people coming in every time and every time they come in we say we'll see you tomorrow. Just so they know it's not this it's a treat, like it's a it's almost an entitlement. It's, it's a bit of dignity every day. All money, any anything donated is um, is 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 very badly needed and hugely, hugely appreciated. All all donations um, go directly towards the provision of our services. Um, we we need to raise two million um, in voluntary donations every year just to just to keep our services going. So every every penny counts or every cent counts, I should say. Um, and you know it's it's absolutely hugely hugely appreciated. And um, you know our thanks our thanks to Idaho for for considering for considering us. Um, and also our thanks to everybody who has supported the scheme, you know. We got more relations when it was a euro because it's, anyone can just give them change, give back change the euro there to just give you the euro and put it into the till and uh, they buy us the coffee and just mark it off. So, um, I mean, there's no, there's no expense to us to give out, give out a coffee to somebody who comes in. Um, so, you know, we're not losing any money, we're not making any money out of it. So it's. You'd be very cynical about social media, and I certainly we use it for business, and a lot of time you would be very cynical about it. But it really shows how it can help the charities, it can help an idea like this, because it just happened on a Saturday night, and by the following week, something like 600,000 people had seen the Facebook page, which meant that a huge number of people were aware about it. So then they're going to the local cafes and saying, can I donate? Do you do suspend to coffees? So it's sort of got it all moving. And now it's just a question of getting it down so that absolutely everyone knows about it. And more people, everyone on the street knows as well that when you see the sign suspend to coffees available here, you can just go in and, and ask for it. But social media is not all bad, yeah. sometimes. <laughs> and we've got a guy who comes in every Saturday, and every single Saturday says, Can I buy 10 suspend to coffees? and passes 20 euro over. And like, he's not looking for any kind of thanks very much or whatever, it's just, I want to pass it on, I, I have it. And I said to him one time, I said, you're a very, really generous guy. And he said, well, yeah, but for the grace of God, go away. He said, you know, I, I could easily be that person. So. And we can see, like, from our Supron, 50% of the people on the Supron are in private rented accommodation. So you can see, you know, that they are just on the edge of homelessness, you know, 
a paycheck or so away if they are using the Supram um, for their food. You know, you can see you can see finances are very, very, are very, very low. So you can see that that the pressure the pressure is there. Overall, it's been a success. Uh, I just hope that the novelty of it doesn't wear off. Um, there's a few places, there's only a couple of places in Cork doing it, I think, but there's a good few places in Ireland at the moment. So um, as long as it keeps getting good publicity, then hopefully it will uh, keep going. And it's it's really nice that in the, at this time as well to see sort of good good news story where people are coming in and you can see just how generous people are. And like it's it's the people who don't necessarily have the most to give up coming in and saying, go on, throw on a suspender as well. Or, or just walking in and saying, can I buy a suspended? And it's, it's just, it's reassuring, because you, know, you would get a bit cynical sometimes these days and say, really, you know, what's, what's the world coming to? But it, there's, there's still good people out there. In the first month, we had something like, we had 400 coffees within two weeks, and people just coming in. And obviously, that was before people started coming in to take them. And then when people started coming in as well, it's just, yeah, it's just, it's reassuring. Okay. You get hope again. A growing number of coffee shops and cafes around the country, including Idaho and the Bookshelf, are now collecting suspended coffees for the less fortunate. The suspended coffee movement has been gaining momentum in Ireland since spring 2013. Ask your local cafe to get involved today and let a homeless person or someone who is struggling financially enjoy a guilt-free cup of tea.